98.1 FM and AM 1220. It is 840 on your hometown station, KHTS, in studio right now. One of my favorites, Cesar Ranuccio. Hello. Come Good on, morning. you got to love the way I say your last name. <laughs> I, I don't do. know. I don't know if it's correct. Very Italianish. But, it's, <laughs> but it, it, it has a certain flavor. From Body Shop 661, um, great place to take. Your car, if you are in the Santa Clarita Valley, and uh, I personally did, and had uh, someone, and I know the bosses have taken their cars to you. Uh, mm-hmm. Pretty much everybody around here takes their car to you if they need something uh, to be fixed. It's a small and valley. <laughs> here's the thing. It, not just fixed, but fixed correctly. There's a difference. Mm-hmm, there there's, is. There's a difference. And sometimes, I know we've talked about stories before, where you end up fixing someone else's fix. Yeah. Yeah, because with jobs, you have to follow the rules, you know, just like anything. If you don't prepare, right, it's like if you don't prepare your house walls, right, you know, and they paint over it, right. it's going to come off, and the, the car's in the sun all day, mm-hmm. getting beat and everything, so it's got to be prepared right and done right the first time. So, um, not that you don't like taking the business, uh-huh. but, you know, let's get it done right the first time. Go to yeah. Body Shop 661. Um, happy October. Happy October. What do you got going on? Any any kind of fun projects? Um. Well, my wife's dressing me up as a scarecrow. <laughs> She's right as so to be get scarecrows for Halloween. And we have a couple of little parties, but... Uh, like I said, she's pregnant, so we're going to bed early. So it's going to be an early party. It's going to be fun. Dude, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I, because of, you know, Kyle and I get here at 4.30. Oh, yeah. So we're in bed. Well, let me just talk about me. I'm in bed early. Uh, I know he has the five kids, but uh, I'm in bed early. I love it. I'm an early yeah. riser. Are you getting used to it or what? I'm getting used to the problem is if I go to bed too early, I'm mm-hmm. up. You know, I'm, it's, but it's good because I start going to the gym in the morning. <laughs> Right. right, everything's got a benefit to it. Everything <laughs> has a benefit to it. Um, so let's talk about Body Shop 661. Yes. Um, let's get a couple of things straight. You, you obviously, you take cash if, if someone is uninsured. Yes. But uh, is there, in particular, a one insurance company that you work with? It or do you work with everybody? say that. By, uh, by law, mm-hmm. you as a vehicle owner, you're allowed to take it to any shop, you know? Um, of course, they're going to come out and do an estimate, or a lot of times they have me take photos and send an estimate. Mm-hmm. And, but you're allowed to take it to whoever you want. Depending on some insurance companies are a little bit trickier because there's like 80-20 policies where if you don't go to their shop, they want to take off you know 20% and then you're deductible mm-hmm. just to make you suffer a little bit more. Um, and we don't, and honestly, and that's, uh, wh- why, why? Yeah, but they do that because that way they can fix the car how they want and shortcut it a little bit if they need to. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here, I work for you, so I'm going to tell you everything how I do it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I got to save you a little bit of money. I'll tell you how I do it, just so you, just so you know, you know, because I like very being very open. You know, I, I always I, talk a lot, so I like to share everything. But see, so you know what? It's important because... So I, as, as, and, and this, this comes from years and years and years of just going back to like probably the fifties when, you know, women really didn't take care of this kind of stuff. You know, it was the guy's job, right? You had a fender bender and, or, you know, you needed any kind of work on the car. That was, that was the husband's job, right? Back in the, you know. Yeah. And I think, um, it just kind of, it, it didn't evolve to the point where, um, you know, you the society looks at us as knowing stuff and I get scared. I'm not going to like, I get scared going to a mechanic or a a body shop like that because I don't know what's going on. And I feel that they always look at me and they see the deer in headlights look (laughs) and they, then, then they go push over. Yeah. Well, that's why when you come to me, I like putting everything in writing, you know, and I give you a real detailed breakdown just so you get a feeling. And then when you go home, you can explain it to your husband. You know what I mean? They tell him what's being done, you know, Mm -hmm. because sometimes too, um, you know what I mean? You both can't go, you know, to get an estimate, you know? No, no, absolutely right. So so they said, you know, like between they're picking up the kids at school or something, they come by and do the estimate. You know, so so it's very important though. It is important they give it to you in writing because if not, how do you go over the stuff later on? You know. Okay, but you yeah, but you don't understand how many times I've I've gotten estimates without anything, or I've gotten a little piece of paper. You know, like a little scrap yeah. piece of paper that you know, like you put your gum in. Now you know better. Yeah, now I know better. 
That's it. And hopefully yeah. other people know better. Don't, yeah, hopefully. Don't, but, don't do that. Yeah, because they have to put it in writing. Because then that way you're covered, too, if something goes wrong or something. Do, is there a favorite yeah. insurance company that you work with? Or? Uh, no, I work with everybody. I'm happy mm-hmm. with everybody, you know. And they, they know me very well, you know. So they know how I do the jobs and how I want stuff done. And mm-hmm. they, you know, we do it right from the first time, from the yeah, beginning. So. That's very important. Yeah. Um, so holidays are coming up. Do you have, because here's what happens during the holidays. Guess what we do, Caesar? (laughs) We say, we put stuff on the back burner like, you know, that that doesn't need to be taken care of because we're worried about the holidays. We have to Mm -hmm. get through any kind of, you know, relatives coming into town and extra food buying and gift giving. And so we put that stuff to the side. But you want your car to look pretty. But we need our car to look. <laughs> right we for your family look, members. We need to look in the car. So do you have, um, I'm, I'm, I have fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting for the next. I'm going over with my mom, planning everything out. Mm-hmm. And for the next radio interview, hopefully I can do the bumper special for the holiday again. Okay. Because I know people want to get their bumpers fixed and everything before the families come over. We'll start. We're going to start it early, you know, next month. Um, I'm going to do like a bumper special. I haven't got the details yet. But that way um, you can get your car looking nice before the family comes. The bumper is a really important part of the car. If the bumper looks good, the yeah. bumpers look good. It's like an unmade bed. Did you ever walk into a room and the bed is unmade? Every Everything else seems to be in place. But if that bed is unmade, all yeah. you have to do is make it and it looks like a million bucks. Yeah, and that's usually what gets tapped first, you know, because right? you're like trying to bargain exactly. and do that. So, so you got that's usually the first thing. So my bumper special is coming up. And that seems to be really popular. Yeah, people are asking me for it. That's why I'm, I'm, it reminded me, you know, because every year people wait for it. Every every uh, everybody wants their bumper remember, spec- Yeah, if if you're doing a, a if you have like a new car and it's three stage pearl or something, it's very very expensive to do. So now you know what I mean. If you have an expensive car, any car, you know the bumper special is the same price for every car. Three stage, two stage. I don't care. I'm here to take care of you. The only thing is, if you have to replace the bumper. Then you have to, you know, pay for the part, but the bumper special would come in for all the labor and the material. Uh, the bumper, would you say the bumper is like the most popular thing that gets dinged up? What do you think? Whenever there's an accident, that gets hit first. Okay. Front or rear, you know? Right. And this is a side, but usually the accidents are front and rear, you yeah. know, so. And it, it, uh, so T-bones don't happen as uh, as frequently? As often. Mm-hmm. T-bones are worse, you know what I mean? But um, they're mostly bumper, especially yeah. with the traffic and stuff, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah, they tap the bumper, you're trying to park, and you tap it. Or the garage, you know? When you're going in the garage, the first thing you hit is the bumper a little bit. So it's the most common part. I love it. I yeah. love it. I love how you know all this stuff. Cesar <laughs> Reduccio, go check him out. Um, besides... Besides him knowing him st- uh, the stuff he needs to know, and he does, and he will fix it right the first time. He's also a lot of fun. <laughs> like if you want to have some fun, because who yeah. goes to seriously? Who goes to a mechanic or, or body shop person? Um, you know, they're, they're usually very serious guys. <laughs> you are the most unserious guy I've ever. <laughs> I've I have ever fun at my with. job. <laughs> I love it. It's my hobby. <laughs> See, and shouldn't that be like we were talking yeah. off air? Shouldn't that be the way? Yeah. Love what you do. Yeah, and before it was me and my dad. You know, my my dad passed. You know, on oh, oh nine. It's gonna be ten years this, this October. After that happened, like I started like really appreciating all the the knowledge he gave me. You know, and the, the lucky I am to have a job that I like so much. You exactly, know? And, so. and it shows, and it shows. And uh, yeah. so go visit him, Caesar Renucio at Body Shop Six Six One. Phone number, website. S- yeah, it's Caesar C E S A R at Body Shop Six Six One, like the area code dot mm-hmm. com. And my phone number is 661-251-2252. And you can look me up on Yelp, Google, Facebook. I'm everywhere. He's everywhere. Yeah, Body Shop 661. Caesar, always a pleasure. You're the best. Thank you, Tori.